Hello, my name is Nora, and I'm going to read Angel Anus Halloween, story by Katherine Holabird, illustrations by Helen Craig. Angel Anus Halloween. Angelina loved the excitement of Halloween. She loved dressing up and trick or treating. She spent and she spent hours with her best friend Alice, who gave out wonderful costumes. At last, they decided to be dancing fireflies and drew beautiful pictures of wings and tiaras. Angelina's little sister, Polly, wanted to join them. Look at this, she kept saying, showing them her funny scribbles. Mrs. Mouseling helped them make the delicate costumes. And when the wings and tiaras were done, Angelina and Alice practiced flying around and around the cottage. Polly tried to fly too, but kept crashing into Angelina's wings. Why do you always copy me? Angelina stamped her foot. Polly hung her head. I want wings, she cried. You're too little, explained Angelina. Maybe you could be something really scary. Miss Mouse hung found a seat, and Angelina showed Polly how to be a spooky Halloween ghost. On Halloween evening, Angelina and her friends played scary games, and Miss Mouse Wing made them bubbling wit witches brew and delicious goblin cookies. When Mr. Mouse Wing came home with an enormous pumpkin, the two fireflies and the little ghost gave him quite a fright. After their party, Angelina and her friends set off together with their trick-or-treat bags. Don't forget your sister, called Miss Mouseling, as the little ghost trundled after them. They raced each other to the general store and sang a song about spiders and bats to Mrs. Thimble. What a great collection of Halloween sweets. Then they went to scare Miss Lloyd, the ballet teacher, who waved her wand and gave them each a lollipop. They were about to play a Halloween trick on old Mrs. Hopspots when all of a sudden... Two red devils reached out from behind an apple tree. Angelina was a fool and quickly recognized Spike and Sammy. We're not scared of you, she laughed. I'll bet you're scared of that house, see Spike pointing up the lane. It's haunted. Angelina skipped off toward the dark building, banging loudly on the door. Trick or treat, she called. There was no answer. Let's go inside, whispered Spike and Sammy. Inside, the house was strange and shadowy. They tiptoed around very slowly. Ouch! Alice stumbled on her toe. And when she shivered, then something lumpy bumped into her. Help, she shrieked, and they all scrambled outside. In the dark, in the dark garden, a weird sound stopped them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch out for witches, and Alice warned everyone. They peered all around, and then Angelina saw a ghostly shape struggling in the blackberry bushes. It's only Polly, she sighed, dragging the little ghost out of the prickles. Now stay with me, she scolded. After that, Angelina kept her eyes on the little ghost when they went trick-or-treating all through the neighborhood and filling their bags with delicious candy. As the moon rose high in the night sky, the village band began to play, and everyone came out to join the grand costume parade. The whole village was dressed up in marvelous costumes. The two fireflies seemed to float off the ground as they danced along with the little ghost jumping beside them. At the end of the evening, Miss Wooly proudly handed out two prizes. The two fireflies and the little ghost won a special award for Halloween dancing jams. Ray shot the ghost whipping up and down, but Henry faster and Dorina, where's Polly? Angelina dashed up the street to Mrs. Thimble Central, but all the village shops were closed. She ran to Mrs. Hodgepodge's store, cottage, but there was nobody home. Then, then a fuzzy monster stood by. Have you seen the little ghost, Angelina asked, but the monster suddenly shook his hand, head. Angelina raced up and down through all the streets of the village. Until at last, she reached the haunted house. The air she found Polly on the, Polly on the steps, sharing the goodies from her trick-or-treat bag with three little friends dressed as, wi as wizards. My tummy feels funny, Polly whimpered, and doing the sugar head. You shouldn't eat your sweet so fast. Anyway, you really scared me. Did I? Polly smiled. On the way home, Polly held Angelina's hand. Next Halloween, can I be a firefly just like you? 
she said. Next Halloween, I think I'll be an acrobat too, said Angelina. Can I, Polly, begin be an acrobat too? First, I'll have to show you some of my tricks. Angelina smiled. And the very next day, she did. I hope you enjoyed the book, Angelina's Halloween.